I am the witness. I have borne witness to many great deeds of your world, and none have held my attention like those few who have been jokingly deemed the Little Hammer. Not yet even of age for your people, they have shown great tenacity and courage. Even in the face of certain defeat, they have never given up. Come and witness for yourself their many great deeds. Mission Report 9-3-2016 We were contacted by Major Akonkwo of Until concerning Viper activity in Africa. The Major feared that Viper had finally found their ancient artifact, the Serpent Lantern. We were asked to investigate and, if Viper had found the Serpent Lantern, and if possible, to destroy the artifact. I hurriedly collected our team. With me were Tiny, Red, Flame Boy, and Ray. We departed for Africa post haste. When we arrived, there was a large and impenetrable shield covering a cave near a Viper outpost. This must be where they're keeping the lantern. Tiny was all for smashing the force field. I carefully explained to him that brute force would be useless against the energy field. Not wanting to minimize Tiny's place amongst the team, I mentioned that his strength would be invaluable against the Viper Guards that most assuredly guarded the power source for the field. He seemed to brighten up after that. I sent Red out ahead to check for Viper Scouts as I looked over some maps of the surrounding area. With a triple force field that Viper had in place, I knew that there had to be three bunkers, each with their own power source. I identified several likely locations for the bunkers and had Flame Boy fly out and confirm. We have labeled them Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie, obviously. We will hit Alpha first. We encountered several patrols on our way to Bunker Alpha. We noted this and began to scan for them as we moved forward. Overall, resistance was minimal. As we reached the second checkpoint, I realized that we were quite rusty and our teamwork could use some refining. We hadn't worked together in a little while and the kinks were noticeable. After last time, the entire team had a vendetta against anti-aircraft weapons. We discovered very quickly that the, the checkpoint commander had a broadcast frequency and was able to call all of his Viper assets ain't them when he's We will note this for further reference. On a side note, my MutiBot firmware upgrade seems to be performing well. There are still a few kinks that I want to work out, but I think I've got it close to getting it. I don't know why Omega Man wants these mission reports. But as long as he does, I'll keep doing them. After we cleared the second checkpoint, we discovered that Viper had air assets in play. They attacked several of our members from behind. Thankfully, we were able to react quickly enough and avoided suffering any casualties. I will note this for further Viper excursions. Red is proving to be an invaluable addition to the team. She's very, very quick, and her ice slows down the enemies very well. This has become quite useful, especially in larger battles. Upon reaching checkpoint 3, the resistance we faced increased dramatically. We took extra precautions from that point on. We made sure we utilized proper assaulting techniques. After only a few fights, we'd seem to work out most of the kinks.
I made sure we identified the checkpoint commander and avoided him until we had dealt with the rest of his squads. Tiny requested permission to collect trophies from his large, powerful Viper soldiers that he defeated. I told him as long as he could carry them, he could have them. He seemed to ponder this for a bit, and then asked me if they would bleed out if he pulled off a finger. I told him that trophies were not permissible. Having identified that the Viper squad leaders could teleport in remote healing drones, I took special care to target them first. The last thing we need is Viper squads getting back into the fight after we've disabled them. My prototype blaster still seems to occasionally transform those whom I attack. Most often, this comes in the form of them being turned into a teddy bear. I have not yet isolated the cause of this, though the other t members of the team find it rather amusing. I will need to requisition more ammunition for my unibots. They seem to be chewing through quite a bit. Idea for later. Implant ice jets into prototype arms I designed for Red. This might increase her capabilities, her flexibility, and her usefulness to the team. I have to consult her to get her permission. third checkpoint, we encountered more Viper air assets. However, this time we were prepared for them, ambushed them quickly, and were able to destroy their airborne assets. Tiny made sure to point out that he felt left out of that fight. I reassured him that his usefulness was not in question. Red was also unable to take part of that fight, but she kept her cool. Ray continues to attempt to pass notes of her affection to me through the comms via Morse code of static. I have talked to her about this on many occasions, but this is not the appropriate time to express such a feeling. She continues to do so, despite my objections. Thankfully, none of the others have caught on. If they ever do, I fear my leadership may be compromised due to all the heckling. Flameboy's overuse of the comms continues to be a hot issue. He seems to think that it is appropriate to make 
all kinds of power-related puns throughout the entire mission. I think he's been watching too much of the Foxbat cartoon on his off time. It only makes matters worse that he seems to focus on his own powers, making lots of fire-related jokes. This seems to egg on other people who feel underrepresented. Having cleared out the three checkpoints, we approached the main bunker entrance. It was heavily guarded by anti-aircraft squadrons of Viper soldiers and an anaconda tank. Tiny got very excited when he found out he got to fight a tank. Ray decided that, so far, it had been too boring, and decided to upset the Viper soldiers inside the bunker, causing us all to react. She thought it was great. After a great deal of fighting, we were able to subdue the checkpoints surrounding Bunker Alpha and the exterior of the bunker. I am fairly confident that we were able to eliminate all of the Viper assets in the area, preventing any of them from escaping and warning the other bunkers. I do not anticipate the other bunkers being alerted to our presence and therefore prepared for us. End of mission report 9-3-2016.1